Do you ever need an ultrasound of your knee? Short answer is no, <laughs> but maybe. Good video. Welcome to Talk With Docs, I'm Dr. Radwin. I'm Dr. Paul Salza. Ultrasound rings close to my heart, do you know why? Uh, There's no way you could know why. Because you had an echocardiogram? No, I didn't. Uh, I no. Know. Yeah, no, but that's not why. Oh, yeah. oh rings close to my heart. Yeah. <laughs> See what I get it. Yeah. No, no, no. In engineering, in our fourth year, we had to do a thesis. Okay. And my thesis was using ultrasound to try and look at blood flow, specifically the transition from laminar to turbulent flow. Then I parlayed that into a master's. So I used ultrasound as part of my master's. A ton Wait a second. Of Your master's wasn't on the benefit of ultrasound assessing intraarticular knee no, pathology? No, it was actually using Doppler. Oh. Ultrasound. Oh. Not to nerd out on you, but Doppler is the <laughs> phenomenon of a wave. Uh, the shift in wavelength is proportional to the velocity between the emitter of the wave and the receiver of the wave. That's Even how we use when you try to not nerd out. No, to really nerd, nerd out. out. Do Doppler was, uh, was it 1862 or 1842? 1842, Doppler. An Austrian physicist, mathematician, came up, discovered the Doppler effect. Yeah. And this is the nerdy part. Me and some friends from this engineering. Is, this is the nerdy this part? This coming up. Okay. We were backpacking through Europe, and we made a point of going to Austria so that we could get a picture of us in front some of... Some people go to Zanzibar. Some no. people go to Amsterdam. <laughs> Paul and his engineering we got buddies a picture go to of ourselves Doppler's In place. front of Christian Doppler's house. <laughs> There you go. Because it's still there. It's so awesome. Doppler effect. So Doppler is a phenomenon of ultrasound, but that's not used in knee. Okay, ultrasound. so we're talking about ultrasound because as orthopedic surgeons, I would say I don't order them, but I have to deal with them. Yeah, ultrasound of the knee. I'm going to say right out the bat. Okay. Ultrasound of the knee is almost completely useless. Yes. Except for a few conditions. One, if you're looking for an extensor mechanism disruption, that means you've fallen, you tripped, something happened, and you can't lift your leg up straight. Did you rupture your quadricep tendon or your patellar tendon? So your quadricep tendon attaches to your kneecap at the top. Your patellar tendon connects your kneecap to your shin bone. And if either of those are disrupted, you cannot straighten a bent leg. Right. And that we can deter make that diagnosis clinically. I would say, yeah, you probably don't even need an ultrasound there, but the degree potentially. Yeah, yes. but if you're gonna get an ultrasound, that's one reason to look at that disruption, Okay. Right? although it's usually clinical. The other reason is if you have a mass around your knee right. and we're looking to see if this is a tumor, an ultrasound can be helpful to see if there's blood flow to it, to right. see if it's solid or not. And more commonly than not, you would find out actually that you had a cyst, a popliteal cyst or a yeah. baker cyst, yeah. but this is not a reason to have an ultrasound no. necessarily. So in the absence of these conditions, an ultrasound is useless. Your doctor ordered an ultrasound for your knee pain that you've been having for several months or a year. That's useless. Okay, wait. So someone's going to say, well, wait, what, what about ruling out a DVT? That's not a knee ultrasound. That's right. a leg ultrasound. Okay. Yeah, that's looking ultrasound for your calf. Yeah, and you're looking to see if you can squeeze the veins there because if they don't squeeze, there's right. a clot. In Very there. important test for us. We do it all the time. Okay, so I don't know why this is happening. I don't know why we're still ordering ultrasounds of knees. I don't know why the radiologists are doing them. Okay, so can I they tell you why? They know they're useless too. I'm going to tell you why. Why? Because a patient comes to someone's office, mm -hmm. not ours, but someone mm -hmm. before us, before they get referred to us, and they say, I got knee pain, mm -hmm. and the x-ray shows like a little bit of arthritis. Like, well, something else is going on. I need some more tests. Yeah. And they say, okay, well, we can order an MRI. But an MRI, A, is expensive mm -hmm. in the United States. And here, it takes a, sometimes takes longer to get, depending on the severity of the pathology. So sometimes physicians feel obligated to do something. Oh. And I think they say, oh, you know, let's just get an ultrasound. Oh. Right? And then, unfortunately, then you get the report that has a whole bunch of words on it. And then you come to us, and you're like. I go like this. I throw it away <laughs> immediately. They say, do you want to see my ultrasound? No. <laughs> because it's useless. Okay. So do tell your doctor, no, I don't want ultrasound money. I think that's fair. Okay. Unless you think I have a tumor or an extensor mechanism disruption. Right. Because it will comment. It'll say, hey, there may be a torn meniscus. So let's, let's talk a little bit. So ultrasound technology. Mm, let's talk about what it is. Ultrasound technology is using sound waves to bounce off objects and to create an image. So you, we hear sound in the 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz range. Ultrasound is in the five megahertz to 100 or 150 megahertz range. Five to 15 megahertz is the lower range of ultrasound. That's good for deep tissues, looking at things in the abdomen right. uh, far away. The high frequency is a, is a lower, is a smaller wavelength. Smaller wavelength means more resolution. So superficial things we can look at, like breast lumps, yep. things like that. So there's a role for ultrasound in medicine. Right. It's huge. It's just Even your appendix. Appendix. Yeah. So that's ultrasound 
for imaging. But this, in but in the knee, the mm. important stuff's really not on the outside, it's on the inside. The you just can't yeah. get deep enough to comment on yeah. your meniscus, your articular cartilage, yeah. your ACL. That's useless. You need an MRI to look at the internal derangements of the knees. Okay? okay. Insist on an MRI. If you're worried about some internal derangement, then you need an MRI. However, if your x-ray shows severe arthritis, that trumps everything. Forget it. Other video. Don't you don't need MRI. anything else. If you have severe arthritis and your knee shown on x-ray, you don't need any other imaging. So you have the diagnosis. But what, yeah. If I have severe arthritis, should I get an, another x-ray in six months? No. <laughs> I know. People are like, do yeah. another one? I'm like, no. no. See if it got better? Yeah. It's not going to get better. You go and your tires are bald. If you go look at them three months from now, they're still bald. Yeah. There's no yeah. extra tread, right? No. Okay. So and an ultrasound, great for imaging things yes. in the body. Amazing. Just not the knee. So the video seems a little trite. But, and it's a bit tongue in cheek, like we're not, Yeah. it's by design, because yeah. we, we want the message to be ultrasound is not a useful test for knee pathology, Any unless it's a tumor. Orthopedic or a surgeons watching this video, you're welcome. Yeah. Any family physicians or primary care physicians watching, we're sorry to tell you, don't get the ultrasound. Any patients who wasted their time getting an ultrasound of their knee, sorry. Yeah. Right. Okay, that's just the bottom line. Now you know. If you like this video, please like it, subscribe to our channel, leave a comment about your experience with getting a knee ultrasound, because a lot of you have probably had one. Many people have had them, and they just do not contribute to your treatment plan. There you go. Anything we miss? Tumor, extensor mechanism disruption, yeah. DVT, we talked about that's not the knee, that's the yeah, leg. That's not. I just want to say we're leading people the wrong way. Maybe it theoretically assist if you had a really peripheral, yeah, like yeah, meniscal cyst. Clinical, but, clinical yeah. diagnosis. Yeah. Remember, you are in charge of your own health. Even, and now, even you're in charge, more so. You're in charge of whether or not you're going to get an ultrasound of your knee. We'll see you next time.